Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Wherever you may be tuning in from around the world, welcome to the live broadcast of the launch of Axiom Mission 1, often called AX-1. There they are. We are getting our first look at the Axiom 1 crew as they exit the suit-up room. Michael Lopez Alegria, Larry Connor, Eitan Stiva, and Mark Pathy. Space exploration has always been about inspiring others, and this AX-1 mission is bringing about a new type of inspiration for the world. Launch day is finally here. Your cargo is packed and ready, and we can't wait to see you on orbit. Go AX-1. And we get our first look here now as crew is walking towards the White Room, getting ready for ingress into their Dragon capsule. Today's launch marks the next step in the evolution of this human spaceflight story. This is the first of a number of private astronaut missions by Axiom Space to the International Space Station, and it represents the culmination of the years of hard work between both government and private entities to open up the doors to low Earth orbit. We're so incredibly proud to partner with Axiom Space to have created the MEOS for the AX-1 Mountain National Crew headed to the International Space Station. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Stop. Go Falcon, go Dragon. Got speed, Axiom 1. Together, a new chapter begins. Got speed, AX1. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. Morning, day, or evening, or night, Earth. This is the Good Ship Endeavor. So far, our Crew Dragon's been our home. We had a pretty good night's sleep last night. Um, after launching yesterday, for us, it was very exciting, obviously. What a ride. I think there were smiles that are still being worn by the crew this morning. I'd like to thank SpaceX for an amazing vehicle and for Axiom to putting all this together. The launch itself was absolutely amazing and thrilling. It's just getting used to zero G and and uh, everything that entails and all the challenges that presents, but we're getting used to it. So by the time we get to the space station, we should be ready to rock. Shalom to everyone here Dragon. We've already been to the situation of lack of and we're starting to deal with strength and strength. Two meters. Soft capture complete. SpaceX Endeavor, copy all, good. Hatches were opened, the crew boarded the International Space Station and were welcomed by the members of Expedition 67. The uh, Expedition 67 crew, all of us are incredibly thrilled and excited to welcome Axiom on board. And uh, on this historic uh, day for uh, continued, we expect long-term uh, cooperation with uh, NASA, with our international partners, and with private companies and private astronauts. We are ready to go to work. The key mission objectives for AX-1 have always been scientific research and outreach, performing meaningful science while still taking the time to communicate out the impact and application of that research. One of the big ones that Larry was focused on was an experiment called Aging and Heart Health. We did uh, the very first two-way hollow portation from space. Well, it's been a busy day. I actually brought some notes just to be able to keep up with it all. <laughs> um, fluidic space optics. Hmm. It's a project where you actually are using microgravity and the physics of surface tension to take a polymer that's a liquid and put it into a frame to form a spherical lens. This is really uh, the opening of a new era where it's not just government astronauts like it's been for the last 60 years. As part of the Rakia mission, he is dedicating 100% of his time to education, art, technology, and science. Hi, Ethan, I'm Nino Perel, and I wanted to ask you a question. How can you see the water and the water in the earth? You can also see it. There are also fish, there are fish, there are fish, there are fish. They have definitely been busy since the day they docked on the International Space Station, so it's been great to see um, all that they have accomplished until now. The grand vision is to work on the future of space architecture. How can we build space stations, future space habitats, bigger than the biggest rocket payload fairing that we currently have available? And the way that my research looks at doing this is through autonomous, robotic self-assembly. 
all of these things are pretty surreal and uh, just the whole experience looking out of the window that they call the cupola and a view of the uh, earth, which were some 250 miles above. It was beautiful, amazing, emotional. It was, it was really a special moment. <laughs> וכל 45 דקות יש או זריחה או שקיעה, ורואים כדור מדהים, באמת יפה ושלם ו- ולא רואים גבולות. ו... MLA had a very fun day today. He had an event uh, with Black Buck, an artist, and MLA actually played a musical keyboard and did a duet with Black Buck from space. One of the things that struck me is it's nice to see short duration crew members come up to go out on the space station and only spend, you know, eight to ten days and then come back home and tell their story. And it's been a, just a pleasure to watch our crew members get up there and, and for the first time experience space. Going to space is a, it's, it's an adventure. You know, it's fun a lot of times, but a lot of times it's not. It's hard work. It was really fun to open up my bag and see this, uh, see this in there when I got here. Um, and uh, I remember that uh, time that we, that we had together in Mantua. From a sort of a crew perspective, at, at least personally, I think I could speak for all of us. Um, it's been an amazing experience. We think that in the future, this will be something that we can share with more and more of humanity and will make humankind uh, all the better for it. With the weather now looking good, we're very excited to bring you live coverage of the beginning of the return to Earth of AX-1, the first all-private astronaut mission to the International Space Station. And right on time, physical separation confirmed. Burns are nominal so far. SpaceX Dragon Endeavor and the first private astronaut crew, AX-1, separating from the International Space Station, concluding their 15 days aboard the orbiting laboratory. Flight controllers are tracking the good departure of SpaceX Dragon Endeavor and the AX-1 crew inside. Everything's looking good. There's our first view of Dragon Endeavor re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Dragon SpaceX comm check. As you can tell by the cheers behind us, we can confirm that the Dragon capsule with the AX-1 crew has splashed down. On behalf of the entire SpaceX team, welcome back to planet Earth. The Axiom-1 mission marks the beginning of a new paradigm for human spaceflight. We hope you enjoyed the extra few days in space, and thanks for choosing to fly with SpaceX. The camera making way to see our crew for the first time there. All waving, all in good spirits. See a bunch of thumbs up. Welcome home, AX-1. The AX-1 mission is one of the more visible milestones of our journey to ensure that space travel is opened up to more and more of the brightest minds and eager explorers from around the world who want to make our home planet a better place. To the crew of AX-1, well done.